Oh yeah. You know, one of the most common questions that uh, uh, we get asked in church um, is, if God is real and if God is love, why is there so much rubbish going on in the world? It's an excellent question. Um, and uh, maybe this year we've been you know, forced to ask it um, more often. Um, we've had our tough moments, haven't we? So I was asked to um, kind of share some thoughts about the book of Job. And Job uh, is a character in the Old Testament in the Bible. Um, he, he, he walks through that question. His life uh, was kind of a, a living example of that problem because he, he was a guy who had everything, everything that success and money um, could buy and good living um, could buy. He was a good guy. He tried to live life right uh, and enjoyed the favour that came as a result of that. And he had wealth, he had family, everything that could, um, he could hope for. Happy guy. Well done, Job. That's chapter one. Towards the end of that chapter, though, we, we, we find that, that um, God um, allows... Um, bad stuff really bad stuff to um to happen to job and um we watch to see how he will respond when life is not so good will he still be um will he still be faithful this wasn't god's idea uh, um, it wasn't his plan but he allowed it to happen because you see we we live in a world that is broken and bad stuff can happen um, but we see that in that book that it wasn't God's initial plan at all um, for this to happen. Truth. And so that goes on for a number of chapters. And during that period of time, Job actually gets frustrated with God and he feels sorry for himself and he says what he thinks to God. And you can do that. There's no, there's no point in pretending with this God. If, if he's the God that we believe he is, and he, you know, who he says he is, there's no point in pretending that you think something else. He can read our minds anyway. So Job says what he thinks. But then he kind of realigns himself, um, and he says, look, I recognise how good you are. I recognise that you're true, God, um, and you're, you're righteous, and that, most importantly, that you're in charge. I'm going to stick with you. And he remains faithful to God. And, you know, in the last chapter, having listened to what God says, and, you know, that's the other thing, the other lesson is that God speaks into our individual situations. We need to attune our ear uh, to what he's saying. We need to kind of test it against his, his Bible, his words, so we don't listen to fairy tales, you know. Um, and God speaks, and Job cooperates with what God says. That's a key. Uh, and he ends up with more than he started off with. So everything that he lost, his family and his, um, his wealth, is restored to him. He has a new family, a new wealth, even more than he had before. That's a happy ending. Um, but there's some lessons in there, and how do, we, how do we apply those lessons to our life here in the 21st century? And I couldn't help but do as Jesus said, and Jesus said to consider the lilies. Mm. And here they are. They look great, don't they? What's that got to do with anything? Well, you know, the thing with lilies is they look great uh, in, in July um, uh, for a couple of weeks. They look great, they smell great. Um, puts a big smile on my face as I see them bursting into colour. But then, they die. Death and suffering is part of life. They both come to us all at some point. Um, we live in this kind of slightly sanitized, Disney-esque kind of world where we expect everything to be happy, 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 uh, else, but it's not. And even now, if this, as these are in flower, if I look more closely at the leaves, I can see that there's actually damage on those leaves. There's problems there beneath the surface. So when everything looks rosy, pardon the pun, or <laughs> looks lovely, um, like these lilies behind there, we know that life is not perfect. A chap called, I'm going to read this now, there's a chap called um, Oswald Chambers who said, life is more tragic than orderly. Sorry, folks, but actually suffering is part of life. 
Um, are you trying to live a life, and you hoping for a life that's um, so squeaky clean and happy, um, and there's no sadness in there, that actually you don't know how to celebrate then the amazing stuff that happens uh, alongside the, um, the bad stuff? Um, maybe you've got questions. We are here not to talk and to preach and to thump the altar and you know, or the, the pulpit and, and, and kind of pretend we've got it right. No way. Um, but we're taking Jesus at his word. He said um, there will be suffering, but we can enjoy life in the full when we cooperate with him, just like Job did. So let us know what you think. Ask us some questions. Use YouTube um, or one of our um, uh, church live uh, events um, face to face from a distance at this point. Um, whatever way, ask questions. Let's talk about this because it's important. It's life. See the sun now bursting through the clouds Black and white turn to color all around All is new in the Savior I am found This is living